What's going on guys? I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft. Today I wanted to clarify on something that I talked about in a video, I don't know, probably about a year ago, but it's been picking up steam lately. Uh, that video was a blue tape tips and tricks video. I went over various different things in there, uh, ways that you can use blue tape in the shop. Now, one thing that I keep seeing over and over again is apparently one of the tips I didn't really go over well enough. And so it left a lot of people kind of scratching their heads and they just didn't understand what I was doing. The object was to use blue tape and CA glue to somewhat permanently, or at least temporarily permanently, that'll make more sense in a minute, uh, bond two pieces together. And where that's really gonna come into play is where I would use it is say for making a template. So if I had this piece of cherry here and I wanted to make this exact piece out of this board here, I would need to stick these two together. I would then take and cut this out roughly at the bandsaw and then I would take it to the router table with a pattern bit and I'd snug up right up to this and when I was done, I'd have two pieces perfectly the same shape. I could then separate those two from each other and use them accordingly. Now the process is pretty simple and what I would do is I would figure out where on this that I wanted to have the two pieces stick. I would take a piece of tape I would put it on one surface. I would take another piece, roughly the same length, and I would put it wherever it is that I need to get my other piece out of. So let's say I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna use uh, this medium CA glue here. I'm gonna put a couple drops. I'm gonna use a spray accelerant on this piece. And then I'm gonna put these two pieces together and I'm gonna hold them for 10 or 15 seconds. The accelerant makes the CA glue kick really fast. So you don't need to sit here for a whole minute and put pressure on it like you would if you were just to dab CA glue on there. So now I can take this to the saw, I can do whatever I want, but I have two pieces here that are stuck together. It would appear that they're completely permanently glued together, but they're not because when I'm done, I can pull those two pieces apart and what I have is tape that I can just take off of here now, throw that away, and now I have two pieces. Now you'll see there's this little bit of blue here and that's kind of the next part of this whole process and that's something that else that I wanted to bring up today. The blue tape CA glue trick is very finicky. Some of you guys know I've been using uh, IPG double-sided paper tape for a long time. I've it's been in many videos. In fact, I did a whole video going over the uses, most of the uses that I use this stuff for. Um, that is a much easier solution. If I have this piece, once again, we're gonna use the other side because this has now got this glue and tape on it. So I'm gonna use this side and I want to do the same exact process. I can take simply a piece of double-sided tape. I can lay this on here, flatten it out, peel back the paper, I don't rip the paper, I rip the tape, and now I have a nice tail for the next time I need to use this. Set that aside. All I have to do is figure out where it is that I want, put it on there, press down, and now I have two pieces that appear to be stuck together, just like we did the first time. It doesn't wiggle, it doesn't move, it stays put right where I asked it to be, no problem. Take this over, take it to the bandsaw, route it, take the two pieces apart, and when I'm done, I have, sometimes this is easier if you use a knife or something, but now I have two pieces perfectly the same size, and that was a very quick and easy process. Blue tape and CA glue works. Lots of people use it, and some people swear by it. Uh, I think a lot of those people probably haven't found the right tape. You gotta remember, a lot of times we end up using like carpet tape, stuff like that, stuff uh, thicker, it's squishier, so it moves around and it, it can cause its own problems. So it's just like anything else, you have to find the, find the right tool for the job. The issue that I have with the blue tape trick is it's too easy to screw up. So as you can see here, I had a little bit of glue that squeezed out. So I want to put that piece back. I stick my tape on there, and I'm doing this again for a reason, so bear with me. I stick my piece here, and I stick my piece here. I put my glue on there, put, spray it and everything else. I have to get these two pieces perfectly lined up. If I'm too far this way, I end up with glue on the wood somewhere. 
Now this is fairly foolproof because the width of my tape is darn near the width of the piece that I'm trying to route. But let's say I wanted to get this piece out of there. Okay, now in this case, I'd probably put several of them on here. But again, keep an open mind for demonstration purposes only. Let's say that I was just using a thinner tape even on this small piece. When I go to flip this over, I don't know exactly where I'm lining up at because I'm, I'm basically blind at that point. You have to make sure those two pieces of tape are the same. Now, we get in a hurry. If I'm in a hurry and I didn't happen to make these two pieces of tape the same length, I put glue here, I spray accelerant here. Even if I get these two lined up, when I go to sandwich them back down, well, I have all this glue here and no tape here, which means I'm putting glue directly onto the piece of wood that I'm using as a template. I've already failed. Okay, so this lends itself to some mishap if you're not careful. Yes, it does work. One thing I can tell you is keep the glue more towards the center of the tape. If you start getting out here, as soon as you press down, you're gonna end up with squeeze out that bleeds out into here, which is exactly what happened right here. This is squeeze out that ate some of the tape from the layer underneath it, but it didn't stick to a piece of tape on this piece of wood. And when we took it off, we ended up leaving some residue here. So now I've got to take a chisel and go back and clean this off. So again, double side paper tape, super fast, super easy. I can just take a strip, lay it down, tear it, done. If I decide that this isn't the place that I want, let's say I want to move it over here. Let's say I want this circle actually in here. Okay, well, then I stick it down and now I have that same piece. When I'm done, I take it off of there, take this off. No residue, no tear out, no fuss, no accidental glue mishaps, nothing. So I highly recommend doing the double side tape um, hopefully you guys didn't, uh, be bothered too much by me talking about double side tape once again, but I do, I truly believe in it. Like I say, those of you guys that have been watching for a while know that I use this stuff on the regular. In fact, my other issue with the blue tape method is it's only really good for that one purpose. It's going to be a lot trickier to do it on something else. Real quick, case in point, these pieces of wood right here is actually the zero clearance fence for my miter saw. I'm getting a new blade soon and I need to tighten these back up so that I can cu uh, cut a new kerf in there when I get the new blade. I hold these to the fence uh, on the miter saw with just a little gap in between for the blade kerf and I use double side tape to do that. If I was to use the blue tape and super glue trick, not only would it be thick and kind of wonky, but it's gonna be really hard for me to put blue tape on here and super glue and spray it and hold it and get it in the right spot before it starts running down and causing a big fat mess and I've got glue uh, on the backside of my fence or something and I, I just, I don't want all that mess. So, same thing. I run a couple strips of double side tape on there, suck it up against the fence and it stays there. I will say that if you leave this stuff on there for long enough, it'll come back off. It's not permanent, but it will start to leave some residue after time. Uh, especially in the heat. But as far as this type of work, template routing and stuff like that, it's a win all day long. So that's an explanation of the blue tape trick. It's, I also am giving you an alternative. I have a new supplier for this stuff now, which is why you probably see a big stack of it on the table here. This tape, <laughs> I just got this sent to me from our new supplier of this stuff and it showed up as I was setting the cameras up to shoot this video. So I'm very fortunate uh, for the timing on that one. But I will leave links to all this stuff in the description. You can save 10% on Starbond stuff. Some of you guys knew that already, but I use Starbond all the time. That's the supplier that I go through for my CA glue and the accelerant. I have a whole bunch of different types. In fact, uh, we're supposed to do a kind of a tips and tricks thing on CA glue too and give some of it away. We'll talk about that in a different video, but look in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section and you guys can uh, find that stuff and save yourself some money even. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching this video as always. And we'll see you guys in the next one.